what is up my peoples um if you don't know by now my name is marcel siebert uh, i go by marco though uh this is going to be the first episode of my podcast sooner or later i'll have those affected by yeah and all that crap but for now we're just chilling and we're just going to be talking and vibing because i need to get to work on this because i've been waiting too long it's been almost a year it's about to be a year anniversary for rise to elevate so it is an honor to be able to finally get this thing cracking um i'm doing live at the same time just to kind of like mix it up a little bit um the real reason why i'm doing live though is because i want people to feel the vibe of this what my podcast is going to be like but this is only like the beginning man this is like kind of like the the stepping stone for it and it's actually pretty awesome so um what you call it man it's been but other than that i hope everybody's having a blessed day uh today we're going to be really talking about honesty uh, i kind of wanted to just start a little early just to introduce myself uh for the video and and for the my youtube channel uh for people on live they already kind of know me but once again my name is marcel seabrook i'm from somerville south carolina uh you know i haven't really done anything in my life really i played sports growing up I had a lovely family, um, you know, they, they made, we went to church a lot, uh, you know, that's really kind of like how I felt like my childhood was, but I mean, it was a blessed feeling, and it, it was very, I'm very grateful for the life that I got to live as, or my childhood, and the family that I, I was blessed to be given with, um, but my journey isn't done, uh, after I went to, well, I grew up in Somerville, well, I'm from Ohio originally, I grew up in uh, Somerville. I moved over here when I was about like eight years old, I think. And um, I went to Newington, Ele Newington Elementary uh, in Somerville. And after that, I went to DuBose. And then after that, I went to Greg. I migrated over to Greg Middle School. Um, and then finished Greg and then went to Somerville High School. Um, that's where I kind of got like more... Uh, educated on life and meeting a lot of my friends and stuff like that so it was actually kind of cool um but no uh went to Somerville high school did some stupid stuff like everybody does you know what i mean it's just how it is you live to learn trial and error uh i did a stink bomb actually and it's a real funny like a uh, story but just know i got in trouble for it so i don't really want to talk about it like that to be honest <laughs> but uh other than that, after I got in trouble, I moved to Mount Pleasant and I transferred to Wando my freshman year, second semester. Then I met another set of crowd of people and then, you know, I lived with my grandma and then, you know, that's when my life kind of like changed a lot. And I started like li like getting introduced to things that I didn't get introduced to in Somerville and um, just seeing two different sides of where if you're from where I'm from, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's like two different areas man it's honestly kind of crazy but i mean it's like that everywhere probably i know in like like new york and stuff like that it's probably like crazy um but no uh yeah no i was living over there and then my uh senior year second semester i moved over to uh college park on in, uh goose creek basically it's somerville goose creek and then i went to strafford um and then i graduated from there and then after that that's kind of where i've just been working at jobs doing the basically nine to five crap which is basically what everybody does but um just doing the nine to five stuff and just being being a normal human being making mistakes going through going through things meeting people that i shouldn't even be around and doing things i shouldn't have been doing but you live to learn that that's that's where you kind of like grow as a person and you can actually sit back and tell a story on things and instead of like reflecting on the bad things you did be like dang i did this or i, I had a kid or you know you should never be like that but really some people deep down in their head think like that like dang i shouldn't even have done this but though that's what makes you grow like it's self-explanatory but it's it's the truth you know um but no yeah um so that's that's basically me that's where i started uh, I mean, I just kind of want to give a little, like, who I am before I actually, like, start talking and stuff like that. Um, but what really start making made me start doing Rise to Elevate uh, really is my friends been passing away. Like, I've had a lot of friends, which is normal. I mean, it sounds weird or anything. But I've had a lot of my friends pass away. 
and then including that just like just seeing the whole how this world is going and being around friends who really like weren't my friends and stuff like that kind of just made me want to like stop this stop that like it shouldn't be like that like if I call you a friend you got my back you know what I mean you're the one that I can call and you know what I mean it's just it's not like that anymore you can and we back anyways what is honesty to you I feel like a lot of people don't even know if they're honest to themselves you know what I'm saying like I get it, it's a struggle every day to figure out what is real and what's not real and, and if that person is telling the truth or if they're even living the right, you know what I mean, being honest with your, with, with your relationship with the person. But it still needs to be talked about and I feel like we do not talk about it as humans and I feel like um, the more time that it just builds up in the human being that it just, you're just going to be a straight liar i know some people bro i ain't even trying to like dig into things like that right now but like i know some people who you can't even have a simple conversation without them already lying like the first sentence they will talk to you about is lying like i mean i know <laughs> it's just sad man it shouldn't be like that and i get it but like we as humans just have to understand that we're not always wrong or right and most of us need to learn that we can be wrong sometimes you know like it's just how it is we're we're normal humans we're nobody's perfect and we all make mistakes um but no uh this is def my definition of honesty is being truthful in what you do and say and I feel like when you do that, it becomes, or there's things, there's principles that become behind whenever you're honest, which is being trusted by peers. It makes life easier and your opinions hold a lot more value. So when I say that you're trusted by peers, it's more of just, you know, self-explanatory. You will have a lot of people who will call you eventually and be like, hey man, like, you're the only one I could really talk to because, you, you know, we are, have an honest relationship with each other and we actually talk to each other. And um, I just think it's pretty cool because uh, my whole life growing up, I've been honest, the complete honest person you could meet. And um, I don't know if I said that right, <laughs> but still, I'm the most honest person you'll ever meet. Like, I'll straight up tell you how it is. And then for me, I don't see a point in lying because it won't get me anywhere. It, when you lie, you literally just, and it honestly is not even lying, it's actions too. But when you lie, you dig yourself in a, in a bigger hole. What do you get out of that? Like seriously, you don't get nothing out of lying. And just a lot of people built their life off a of lie and, and do everything based off lies. And I, I don't, I'm, you know, it's, it's life things, you know. But uh, a lot of people think, uh honesty is about when you don't tell a lie or did i say that right yeah yeah a lot of people think that lying is basically like honesty but there's more than honest there's more to honesty than just lying it's it's there's uh your actions behind being honest and just the simple principles of being honest so um i just think it's crazy how uh how a lot of people don't really want to depend on on being honest and uh not being accepting the fact that they're 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 wrong sometimes you know um but no yeah i hope everybody's having a good day so far uh i am going to be like chopping this this uh the episode just like bit by bit today and i'm even thinking about just gonna go do something and then you know what I mean? Kind of just make a video out of the day or have some fun with it. I know me and my girlfriend says so she wants to edit it and practice it. And she watches a lot of stuff. And I've been watching a lot of stuff too. And we have a computer and stuff. So I'm going to try to mess with it. Um, either way, it's, it's getting posted either. I think I'm going to post this Friday. I just wanted to do this because I feel like this is my time. You know what I mean? This is, this is it right here. Um... But no, that was basically what I wanted to talk about today. I know it wasn't brief, like a long thing and I don't want to do two long ones because I feel like um, we all work and we all have lives to do. And I just want to kind of just give a brief topic every, I want to post at least two times a week. 
Um, but I do love writing my posts. Like I love just sitting there writing it out and um, just doing it every day. It's actually really peaceful and stuff. And I actually have fun. I, I don't really like to write and do that. But ever since someone, I can't remember who told me, but they were like, bro, you should write a book. And I was like, man, I really could because my life was crazy. Like if you've seen the things that you've seen in my eyes, you would not. A lot of people wouldn't be able to make it to where I'm at and, you know, to be able to do the things I do in my life now and be able to go travel and just do whatever, it's a blessing and, you know, I wouldn't want to change it for the world. But, um, no, yeah, I just want people to just think about things and think about if you're honest to yourself, think about if you're honest to your significant other, think about if you're honest to your family members, you know, think about if you have people who are honest to you, like, just think about the word honesty. That's kind of like my word of the week. I know I talked about it before and like, you know, I was for the past year that I've almost a year that I've uh, been doing Rise to Elevate, but I feel like it's a very important topic. And that's what I will, I will be doing that a lot because it's not about what the topic is. It's about what it is, what the topic is, but like, we just need to talk about certain things at certain times. And I feel like for me, I go based off my emotions. So like, you know, when I first wake up, that's how I pick my topic. I, I wake up and I'm like, honestly, you know what I mean? Um, but no, yeah, I also wanted to talk about how I will be doing Twitch. I will be doing Twitch a lot. I'm working on the over overlay thing right now. I'm trying to figure that out. If I need to buy like a monitor or something, I'm, I'm probably going to have to just so I can start doing multiple different things. Um, I still want to be able to do like a canned food drive and be able to record it and all that stuff and get all that cracking, but being patient. Um, still got a lot of things that are still in the back of my mind that I want to do. So um, I'm just, just being patient, you know, that's, that's the only thing we really can do. If you don't be patient, then you're just going to, I mean, some, some people can live based off of being uh, fast paced and, uh, what is it? Running off of um, adrenaline, I guess you could say. The New, the New Yorkers. That's what it is. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so I'll be doing Twitch and stuff like that. I'll be streaming, like, games. Uh, 2K, Halo, eventually just so on. Just to kind of, like, be able to, you know, interact with other people in a different way rather than just, you know, this way or uh, Snapchat or... You know, just other different ways to be able to do that. Um, but it's still awesome to be this far where I've gotten and, like, to be able to just finally start doing this. Uh, it's just crazy that Apple really make you have to, like, you have to buy storage in order to actually do videos. I've been trying to do videos on my own, and it's like every time I do a nice video, it's bleh, gone. Like, that. that's so corny, man. But we're going to chop and chop and chop this and thing, and then I'm gonna put it all on my computer and it'll be good so um kind of excited about that but i guess um i'm gonna chop it up right here and end it but i am excited to say that was like the first episode um i do want to hear what people think thought about that and what you think about honesty and i want feedback at the comments you know i never thought i'd be saying this but subscribe you know do anything you can to help the boy out to make a to make this movement bigger so that we can make a change on not just us but on our generations to come and and try not to be selfish bro like think about think about really what's going on in this world like if we really branch together and do things together we could probably make a change so, or we will make a change you know um so anyways have a wonderful day peace out um what you call it, uh, Facebook, Marco Seabrook, or Rise to Elevate, uh, Twitter's Rise to Elevate, Instagram, Rise to Elevate, everything Rise to Elevate, if you go on every, uh, TikTok, everything is Rise to Elevate, um, t-shirts are going to be coming soon, too, working on those, it's, it's been, it's been a long journey on that crap, <laughs> but we're going to get it going, especially before the one year anniversary, I just had to get the podcast going and all that, you know, just get it cracking. But y'all have an amazing day. Peace out.